Hello, ladies, gents, and dainty maidens frolicking in their magic garden. Let's dust off Minnie and Max next. Minnie and her dog Max are locked in the storage room. Harness the magic of shrinking to escape. What happened? What, what was this? What's the meta knowledge around this video game? One of our largest games to date. It pays homage, homage to several UFO self titles that preceded. So I am going to understand none of the inside reference here because it, uh, you know, references the 50 other games that came before that I have not yet played. But that's why I'm doing the memento thing. So that way they become retroactively activated in my memory. Amy, you can stay in the storage room tonight. Mini. But why? There's nothing to do in here. Because mom isn't here, and I'm in charge, that's why, little bitch. Here you can hang with Max. Okay, everything is fine, for we have a pooch. What you mean is not fair? You have a dog to keep you entertained. The dog is the joy of life. Did she just throw a mirror at the... I'm already hating this little teenager brat! Can't stand this character. It feels like we've been locked in here forever. I'm so bored. Roof, roof, roof. Will it get us out of here? But I don't know how to shrink. She's schizophrenic, you see. That'll never work. Holy, this is insane. The magic level. Is it's incredible. So you can get on top. You can do a Super Mario 2 and get on top of things and grab them, I guess. I assume I can pick up the dog. I want to pick up something else, though. Fine, pick up the dog. Oh. Just toss it, huh? All right. Other button does. Jump. All right. Up, down, sideways, up. Okay, mm <laughs> I'm sure, I am sure there's more to this than being stuck inside a room uh, looking like she's farting constantly. Okay, that does nothing. Uh, maybe if I had actually read instead of making barking noises, uh, this would be a trivial challenge. Kind of creepy though to be a child trapped inside a room locked from the outside this looks like kidnapping to me even if it was done by a sibling this is not correct not a correct thing to do uh, it may be time for me to restart and actually look at what the dog said <laughs> that way i can figure out what this game is about let me do exactly that now that i have read and says Maybe if we just crouch down and think small thoughts. He did it, so now we have to do it. Think small thoughts. There you go. You just need to keep it pressed long enough. And now I am a platforming, 2D platforming character. Jump, Super Mario style. Okay, can I... Oh yeah, you can get bigger. All right. Let me just crush you beneath my feet. Never mind. <laughs> I wanted to get on top of the insect and absolutely obliterate it. So can I grab this and throw it? Yeah. Pow. Aggression. That is my number one, number one way of doing things. Oh, I just grabbed the star. Oh, that was a, a mirror fragment. I'm going to cut my fingers with that shit. Uh, you cannot jump down Nimpec style. You have to go all the way around. A gun drop. That's kind of ass. Uh, do you get to read this? I would like to read it. No, you don't get to read it. Can't believe they don't let you jump down from a platform. That's kind of silly. Is this an entrance? Yeah, it is. Well, we are inside the shelf. Very interesting. All right. What an odd. I mean, I get it. I get the concept. <clears throat> You're gonna have to do better than this to impress me, though. 
that was just uh, the game saving. So, by murdering enemies, do we gain anything, or is just a way of getting rid of obstacles? You can't jump down. It's so weird that you can't jump down. Like, you're just stuck up here. <laughs> and you had to go all the way around. That is the most bizarre choice that I've ever seen. Hello, dog. How you doing? Do I get to ride you? Up. It says up. There you are. I can't believe shrinking actually worked. All right, let's stop barking and start actually reading what the dog says. Isn't it great? There's so much more room to run around. If you want to find me later, meet me back at this roof. Ooh. Excuse me? Excuse me? I wasn't done with you. Bad dog. Bad dog! Can you actually murder the dog? Because that would be hilarious. You're a bad dog, Max. Holy crap. <laughs> the dog got absolutely destroyed by my aggression. Animal abuse at its finest. So what's going on here? Hello. You are an inhabitant of the mini land. Are you Arietti? Eleanor? What do you want? Do you know a way to out of this room? Are you stupid? You're standing in front of a door. Dumbass. I mean, is there a way out of the big room? All of this. <laughs> if I knew that, you meant the first time. What? I knew what you meant the first time. I, I thought that she was doing a mocking thing. Anyway, I was just messing with you. I might know something about getting out of here, but it'll cost you 20 shinies. Gee, you don't know much, do you? Or little shiny things look at bits like stars ever since they fell out of the sky two years ago everyone's been using them for money two years ago the time scale is out of control how about instead of money i give you suffering damn it <laughs> and she gets on top of the cat food huh all right well i'll go collect shinies but I i'm stealing your cat food this cat food is now mine Wonder what I'm supposed to do with the cat food. Wonder what I'm supposed to do with anything at all. Would you like to have this? Hello. Go away, this door isn't for you. I'll determine what's for me, little bug. I'll get big and crush you beneath my feet. What do you have to say? Blast night? Weird. I must ask you to stand back. Night King Mittens doesn't want anyone approaching the base of the great door. But what if I want to open the door so I can get out of here, you disgusting buffoon? The power that unlocks the door lies way above me in Doorknob Palace. You'll have to go there and plead your case before King Mittens. Uh, is the whole game figuring out a way to get out of the room? Because that would be pretty neat. Nah. Do you get full damage? Seems like seems that way. Oh, you get... <laughs> You have purchased at the bottom of the damn uh, of the damn plug. This power outlet is the property of King Mittens. Uh, what is the background here? What is going on? Is that the actual cat? So you know my complete inability to jump down safely kind of prevents me from doing things. I get hurt by the bug. Get destroyed. When you die, do you have to restart, or, I have, or what happens? I guess we can just find out by throwing my face at the monster. Yeah, let's find out. Wonder if it sets you back a ways, or do you just respawn, or what? Let's do a little bit of science. Murder me. You get big again. What you do that for, you bitch? I didn't mind you if you pick up me up, but try to be more careful. How about I just abuse you every time I go down there? All right. Here's how I'm going to break the sequence. I'm going to find something else to break and rain it up on the little land. And that way bring me riches. How about that? Okay, let me just become small next to this mirror. Mirror fragment. Could I maybe grab? Okay, some kind of weird lint palace. Maybe grab. Ah! Disturbing! <laughs> Disturbing creature! Oh, it actually hurts me. Everything hurts me. Uh, I did lose my delicious cat food. 
There's a tomato on the floor. What an odd video game. <laughs> it's like... Uh, I'm trying to figure out... It's impossible, right? You, you just can't get through that. You need some kind of umbrella item. Maybe be carry something in your hand that stops it from... stops things from burning on your head. Jump over? Yeah. I would like to have access to the rest of the room. This is my room after all. It belongs to me. Uh, let me just murder you. Actually, do you go... Maybe you go somewhere interesting with your jumps? Nah. Nah. There's an outlet over there. Maybe I'll be able to jump on it. On it. Does it loop or something? What is going on here? No. Go away! This door is in for you. Man, these, these fellas are all so damn ornery. Why is the mini world so full of aggression and meanies? Can I make it myself even smaller? No. Can I maybe slide? Mar Mario style? No. It's probably some kind of other method to go down there. Anyway, I have the money to give to the lady. Probably going all the way up here is a bad choice. Another house, huh? William, nice to finally meet you, Minnie. How the hell do you know who I am? Are you being stalking me, you creepo weirdo? We can hear you big people talking down here. Most of us little people just tune it out. But I'm still more connected to the big world than most because I'm a creepy stalker. Tell me, do I look familiar? I have looked under your skirt so many times. Uh, maybe a little? That's because my portrait is still sitting in this room. I also sleep on top of your nose. Truthfully, I'm surprised no one has thrown away, thrown away yet. I used to be big, and I lived in this house. This was many years before your family moved in. Those sons of bitches, they threw me out. I wanted to stay here forever, but they took my land. I can't explain it. Perhaps this house is enchanted. But you stayed small. Did you get stuck down here like a dumbass? Oh, it has all been by choice. You see, time flows differently down here. By staying small, I have extended my life by centuries. Eleanor is even older than I am. I believe it was her family that built this house. Speaking of Eleanor, I could really go for some of her tea. Uh, can I maybe uh, do violence against you? No. It's always important to see the level of violence I can visit upon these people. So anyway, he wants my uh, the lady's tea that we can carry all the way over here. We also have enough cash now to bring over to the lady... And I assume you need to grab the cat food and take it over to whoever the hell wants to appease the cat. Probably won't be for the cat itself. Wow. What is your problem? <laughs> Please help. Can you bring me some of that honey back there? I have no strength left to get it myself. Pathetic. Can I... Maybe do something? No? Oh, it just rains upon this thing. Uh, there's no honey. There's no honey I can pick up. You're worthless to me. All right. So does full damage hurt me? That's something I want to find out. Wow. <laughs> she just dies. All right. So I was on top of the plant. So that means, like, if you do this... On top of the plant, you actually return to the plant area. That's I like that quite a lot. Let's get back to the real world. And it's a fast travel mechanic. That's very cool. Unfortunately, you know, the fast traveling, uh, you cannot carry things in the fast travel. Okay, I'm stealing this from you. Actually, uh, here's your crap. Here's your absolute trash. Literal lint from my pocket. What an enterprising young lady you are. Now, let me answer your question. If you want to get out of this room, you're gonna have to talk to Mittens. Mittens? That's my cat. He always did whatever he darn well pleased. But since the shinies fell, he's been drunk with power, declared himself a king, and built a palace inside the, of the door knob. He's even got a bunch of oversized parasites he's bossing around. Well, that's kind of gross. He has the power to open the door for you, but it won't be cheap to convince him. If you're serious about getting out, you'd better gather as many shinies as you can. Here, take this. It'll help you deal with the bugs roaming around these parts. It's a Metroidvania. 
glove can now pick up enemies. Stand on and plus A. Okay, so here's what we want to carry. We want to carry this T all the way to the pan C that is in the other house. So clearly this seems to be like a more of a long form kind of video game. I'm not going to give you a full account of the experience just by playing it 20 to 30 minutes. Mistakes were made. Uh, but you know, we can get started. And based on our ex holy crap, man, you're, you're just ass. Actually, I'm supposed to jump all the way to the top. Allow me to use you as a prop. Don't worry, no more damage shall be suffered in this terrible land. No, this was another way. This path. There was a, there was another. Oh no no, you had to keep going. That's right. There was another weird tomato thing. I forget what they actually. I, I realized that I can uh, take away all the blocks from that and go into the inside. It's a, a zapotic plant, that's what it is. It just looks like a tomato, okay? Don't judge me. Are you in here? No. I mean, he exists. I know he exists. Uh, I think he was at the top here. What? You? Yeah, there's the house. All right. He's on top of the potted plant. Here's your piece of garbage. You brought the tea. Thank you. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. So when I first discovered I could shrink, I was hungry for adventure. I roamed far and wide across this great room. It wasn't long before I learned I could shrink even smaller. You mean even smaller than we are now? I'm going to breach the plank minimum? Indeed, the plank distance can be breached. You only need to believe in rainbows. It was slow going at first. It takes energy to stay so small. And the creatures you encounter can sap your strength quickly. But over time, I became stronger. So my advice, if you want to reach your full potential, is to spend some time exploring the smallest size levels. Here, this should help you get started. All right, a magic potion. Shrink even smaller. Hold down even further. A new wrinkle has been found. It still weirds me out that you can't just jump down. It weirds me out tremendously. Like you're just stuck here. Shrink down even further, but how much smaller do you get? Do you go down to freaking amoeba size? I'm a protozoa. Well, that was upsetting. It seems like the list of items gets longer and longer. So I can just shrink down by the the portrait. Oh, that is so neat. Very cool. Very cool. On. I would not consider it my type of video game that I will be super into, but the ideas here are really neat. So can I pick you up and then put you down somewhere that I want to jump higher? Indeed, indeed I can. I can just descend through there. What a bizarre thing. Can I pit them against each other? Yes, I can. <laughs> uh, I can probably... Hey, more shinies. So I wonder what is the the ultimate goal is to reach the doorknob, right? But because I can become gigantic, all right, we can transport ourselves through the bug bus. These bug platforms will take me exactly where I need to be. A little bit more cash, hell yeah. So basically, eh, let's just jump off the edge. What's the worst that can happen? Shiny? going on here what do you shine hmm. can I maybe break it with some other thing no but I could take it into a cave and have something fall on top of it and then maybe it will break into valuable things <laughs> no it doesn't break but if something falls on it, I bet it will. Let me just go in here. Hey, hello. You are the one that's going to destroy this thing. Destroy the shiny lint thing. Do it. There was nothing inside. This upsets me. <laughs> upsets me greatly. Uh, 
Ah! Wow, it just murders you outright, huh? I was in the shelf. All right, all right. So, clearly I want to go into the doorknob. But I am at the bottom. The bottom of this land. Can I pick you up? No. <laughs> I was hoping. I was hoping to pick you up. How about I throw a bug at you? Do you take offense to this? No. All my attempts at being a total piece of garbage are not coming to fruition and it's frustrating me. Okay, dog, what do you have to say? I'm so itchy, my fleas must have shrunk along with me. <laughs> Can I maybe go inside the dog? And we climb inside the dog's anus? This is a dangerous, dangerous place. Hello? Ah. You did. Doesn't seem to be uh, anything we can do in here, though. Can I maybe get on top of you? Yeah. <laughs> You're like a freaking parachute. Do I maybe float further? No. But if I throw you here... Stay there. Stay there, you scum lord. Float up. Float up. Float up, you piece of trash! I hate you. Come on. You can do it. A little bit further. You piece of garbage. Oops. Maybe I can grab the other one. Ah, ah. Oh, it actually damages it because it has an antenna. Alright, well, you go back to this land. Anyway, what, what was I even trying to do? What I wanted to do was go back to this area right here. And I wanted to open up the door in the middle. There it is. Right. Oops, I have murdered a bug fully by mistake. At least we get a little bit of extra cash. Doesn't seem to be much of interest in here though. Can I maybe make it all the way to the top? Ah! You... Probably you I talk to you. I'm trying to concoct a new drink, but some ingredients is missing. If you find a mushroom spore, could you bring it to me? Well, that's an easy quest, if only I could find a mushroom, but I have not encountered such a thing just yet. But maybe if I become big and I analyze... A mushroom, you say? Maybe inside the lint? A mushroom would be inside the plant pot, right? That's where a mushroom might grow. That's about it. Let's go inside the lint land, though. See this incredibly snowy palace of lint and nightmares? I'm just here to make sure these dirt brains pay their taxes to King Mittens! Rude. I can't even grab her. Oh, you actually talk to them. So many of my friends are gone! There used to be twice as many of us! Slaughter, slaughter them all with the vacuum machine! Let's make sure that there's zero of you! Oh. No violence can be visited upon them. Alfie says, I don't feel so good. I hope I don't disappear like the others. This is some some existential dread kind of shit. Our people have been mysteriously disappearing one by one. Some truly disturbing environment here. Welcome to Dust Bunny Bear. <laughs> it's so silly. Oh, it's actually a shop. Dynamite. Of course I want the backpack. Store one object for later. Awesome. Down plus D, which is down plus jump. Yes, I, I need to have this dynamite. And I need to have this glass jar. I shall store. Oh, oh I think while grabbing it, you store it like this. There you go. Uh, probably I should store the dynamite. <laughs> uh, and I guess I put it down like this. Uh, put it down. Grab the dynamite. Store it. Grab the jar. And carry it. So wonder. Let's see. Let's do this test. Okay. Look at me testing. It just it gets destroyed. I, I was like, if we put it down, will it come back? When we shrink back down. Anyway, this is the potted plant. The inside of the potted plant. I forget where... No, no, this was... Okay, I get it. 
So what might the dam dan dynamite be good for? It's like a platformer adventure. You know, instead of a point and click adventure game, it's a platforming adventure game. Metroidvania kind of hybrid. Really uh, thinking outside the box here. That being said, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if we can go further and further to the to the right. Disturbing, disturbing, horrible creatures down in this path, down in this land. I like that I become a floaty person. Does this mean that now if I go back up into the real world, do I appear on the other side? What am I doing? Appear on the other side? Let's find out. Get big! Oh, okay. I'm <laughs> still trying to get through. Excuse me? Oh, you can jump on top of the octopus! Mm. If I shrink on top of the plant... Oh, like this? You want to shrink in front of the pot? Uh... Well, clearly now, I just put the dynamite right there and blow out the door! <laughs> Why did that not work? This is... this game is rigged. I had already solved the entire game. Psh! Think outside the box, my ass. Just use the high ordinance to destroy the thing that is keeping me trapped. But no, no, you have to play by the rules. Disgusting. So disappointed in you, Derek, you and company. Don't do it. Okay, you actually can jump on top of those. I am very bad at Marioing. Very, very bad at actually not getting murdered. Uh, th this, uh, none of these are randomly generated, are they? What? They are fully crafted experiences. Can I shrink it even further? Go to literal quantum level? See the very fabric of the universe? They actually hurt you? Ah, 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 hey, what, what kind of moron are you? <laughs> you idiot. Oh, that was so dumb. I need to attempt it one more time. I appreciate the fact, though, that there's no real punishment other than the humiliation and just taking in the time it takes. But I am determined to see this through. Absolutely determined. This matters. Okay. It also protects me in the head. But being able to float is very nice and helpful. To slow the scent. It also enables you to not suffer fall damage. I mean, not like the minimal world will have fall damage, I don't think. If I could bring this weird virus particle creature thing to the top world. Ah, stop! What is going on? <laughs> How incompetent do I get? All right, all right, just ignore it. Surely we're there right now, right? Please. Yeah! You do bring it back! I am now the incredible super floaty. And I can just become big and destroy the potted plant from the inside i have brought this strange monster into into the world with me i am changing the fabric of reality actually hurts you but not really i don't think the game is supposed to allow you to do <laughs> that's pretty silly i'm just going to fill my room with horrendous monstrosities can I do that? Let's find out. Hello, weirdo. Let me grab you real quick. Ah, oh, they despawn. Well, I have broken all laws of physics. We now have a brand new roommate. I appreciate your existence, you absolute disgusting creature. Anyway, we'll reach the 30 minute mark. I think we understand what this game is all about. Clearly not long enough to delve into the depths. I bet there's a bunch of mechanics that we can't even 
imagine yet that are present in this video game. Uh, really, really charming. Really neat. Weird platformer, Metroidvania adventure type of experience. Oh, this was a mistake. Well, I didn't die. Amazing. And uh, I don't know if I'll go out of my way to finish it. Because like I said, I don't, I don't think it's much of my jam. I recognize the merits of it though. Like, uh, it's a really cool game that I'm not particularly, the genre I'm not particularly into. I, I don't want to mess with it. But I consider it a really cool, neat game that I bet a lot of people are super into. Just, eh, I'm probably going to move on with my life. Really appreciate it, though. See you in whatever comes next.